Yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys the tarantula. Perfect. Yep, there it is. What do you think? <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Today's vlog is gonna start actually a little bit into my day because I've already had a couple tours wrapping up a birthday party. We have the Reptarium tonight. Everyone is fast at it. We've got Andrea over here. Mary is working the Reptarium tonight. She's got a Reptarium shirt on. Look at how awesome is that. Oh, where's my Reptarium shirt? I forgot it again, that's right. Look who else is joining us today. What's Eric. Happening? This is what, this is the second or third time you've worked here? Probably first. No, right. it's been a while. Second or third, second it's been a third. while. Yeah. We got so many complaints about Eric working, we decided <laughs> He's not allowed to work anymore. But Bruce and Jessica are actually gone. We had to, we just have to bring him on. No, people love, people ask about you every single night. So That means so much. I, I know. So people are gonna be happy to see Eric and Mary tonight. Kelsey is in the house as well, so we're gonna have an absolutely great time. But for now, we've gotta get ready. There is a lot of cages to clean, a lot of glasses to clean, yes. and uh, to get ready for tonight. Uh, also, I've gotta find out where Lori is. And we still keep salt and pepper in back just to kind of continue to monitor them. Not to mention, I'll be honest with you, uh, my design for the gator tank aren't the very best. Salt is getting so big, but I'll show you what I mean. You can see back here, more or less, uh, you have to put these guys in here like this. And the bad part about that is that when you're taking them out, you've got to blindly just kind of look around. In between us, Andrea actually got bit the other day by Pepper as she was going in there. It was no big deal. They're not big enough, but definitely going to have to figure something else out because that isn't exactly good, but they look so amazing. I mean, look at how great salt looks. And of course, we put Pepper right here, but I just don't think we're going to be able to keep them in them all the time. So I'm going to have to redesign some sort of enclosures here at the Reptarium so that we can keep them all the time because they are getting really big. Here you are. What are you doing? Just trying to uh, rearrange and figure out breeding scheme. Oh yeah, the colubrids. How are the how's the new collection doing? Looking good? Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. I'm just still in the inventory, like I said, trying to figure out what the breeding game plan is going to be. So and then get them in all the right order. It's a process. So you know, <laughs> first you have to inventory obviously genes. Let's say you have a blizzard corn snake right here. You obviously have to decide what to breed it to. The thing you wouldn't want to breed it to is a quail and milk snake. So uh, no, but I do actually have a sun-kissed blizzard. Oh, a sun-kissed uh, blizzard. Yeah, I didn't oh. realize I had raised her up, so I'm actually kind of excited. That means we're gonna be producing blizzard corn fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're really shy on blizzard corns. Everyone always likes blizzard corns because they're just so beautiful, and we haven't produced them the last couple years, so at least we'll have one clutch of right. blizzard corns. But the fact is, is you have to go through and kind of inventory all the animals, decide what to breed to what, rearrange things. Tomorrow we're feeding for the first time, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the new collection and the old collection gets the first time. That's gonna be crazy. So hopefully everything goes well. Like I said, things look like they're really ready to go. I mean, just some of these animals are ridiculous. I mean, just look at these. I was going through these yesterday. Of course, you guys saw in the vlog. Jeez, Lori, I didn't see some of the stuff that you bagged. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, and like I said, I, I also re-inventoried it and then have the list. So I have to decide what to breed to what because we've got some really cool possibilities. Yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, it's going to it's gonna be awesome this year. But as for now, we have to get ready for the Reptarium. It's going to be a busy night, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Lori has kept me so busy. I was looking at the <laughs> calendar by the way Lori listen you tell me to book it oh People my gosh it used to just be the weekends like Friday Saturday Sunday now it's every day this yeah. week except for one day Lori and myself are actually going to get a new animal for the Reptar. I'm pretty excited about this one yes rapid fire updates really quick to the breeding cages for our gargoyle geckos they're back together and it looks like we should have eggs pretty soon leopard geckos are up and out of hibernation they should be getting fed this week mm -hmm bread this week should have eggs within two and a half three weeks. Bert and Ernie are still crushing food looking really good uh, so far so good. Whereas a lot of boas and pythons have been breeding for actually months the Brazilian rainbow boas and Colombian rainbow boas and even sambos are just starting to go together. Would you like to do the limbo under a coconut tree? So this week we'll have our males like this hypo Brazilian rainbow boa in with females for the very first time. Take a look at this big female here that is so swollen up and this is the male down here that bred her. So we have a handful of woma pythons that are about to ovulate just like this girl right here so we should have a few Clutch the wall, we have three female mangrove snakes that are in shed right now about to lay eggs. So excited to produce mangroves again. Jessica really crushed it when it came to the blue tongue skink breeding this year. We have a lot of female northerns and a handful of easterns that are gravid right now and maybe even an indo one or two. But the fact is is that you can always tell when a blue tongue skink is starting to get gravid because her belly will be a little big like this and it's actually a little bit more squishy. 
normally it's hard, and when they get grabbed, it's actually squishy. So within two, two and a half months, we're gonna have a bunch of baby skanks. I think RJ might be mad at me. For whatever reason, he doesn't want to eat for me. He only eats for Noah, Eric, or Kelsey, so. He's pouting over there. Every time I come over, he's like, you're not gonna take me out, Dad. But the fact is, I might bring him out tonight at the rep care. We'll see how it goes. Lots of breeding still going on with ball pythons, and some females are getting close to ovulation. This albino ball python is breeding bred to an albino black pastel ball python, which means about half the babies will come out albino black pastel, the other half will come out albino, and she is getting close to ovulating. We also have a bunch of spotted pythons, children's pythons, and Stimson's pythons grab it. I love these little pygmy pythons. They're so amazing. This Stimson's looks absolutely incredible and is full of eggs. So it won't be long before we start getting clutches of Antaracea. These guys are so adorable. And this is the first year that we're really gonna have a good year with Stimson's. Like I mentioned before, we produced one baby Stimson's last year. This girl alone will probably have eight or 10 eggs. Obviously there's a million other things going on here at PHB and over at the Reptarium, but I tell you, what, I'm so happy right now. And I always wanna encourage you guys to follow your dreams because again, even if it takes a long time to get there, it's so worth it. I'm gonna be honest with you, it seems like I've been working towards this part of my life for the last like 30 years, you know? I've been happy along the journey, I've loved things, things have been incredible, all that type of stuff, but really, I'm in a spot right now that I am so happy. So many things are going well, BHB is awesome, the Reptarium is awesome, you guys are amazing to me. I mean, life is so good, and I'm just gonna to continue to try and encourage you guys to go for it, because even if it seems like your dreams are forever away, trust me, it's worth it to just push through it, because when you finally start getting there wow life is good and I believe in you guys so don't ever let those dreams fall apart we're getting ready to open up the Reptarium and one of the last things that we have to do is clean butterscotch's glass now she's really active so she's always kind of moving around she smudges her glass up all the time and the only way to do that is you have to take this pane of glass down put it on the ground and then wash it off Ooh. now the trick really isn't that the trick is uh, then you don't have a glass protecting you if she wants to come out. Oh no. So oh, you ready man. to do this? Hey, let's do it. Now right. or never. It's, it's crunch time. All right, so all you have to do, ooh, she's right here too. Dang it. Oh, why, don't you, why don't you open up the cage first? Sure, uh, this way. Oh crap. Okay. Yep, go that way towards you. Just watch, watch yourself now. I don't know. Mary, why don't you, you grab us a snake hook? All right, so now, what are we gonna <laughs> yeah. do? <laughs> we, didn't sure. we didn't think this one out really well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. Bruce is the one that usually does this. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of make sure she knows that I'm not food. You know I'm not food, girl? Okay. You're all right. Okay. Okay, now we're, we're good. You're back in all right, that. So now okay. You're, now you're like that. I'll keep this. So you just lift up and pull that out. Oh, that's oh, yeah. really nerve wracking. Yeah, okay. Don't break the glass. Nope. Hey, Mary, why don't you come over here? I'm going to hold. I'm going to be. You're just going to hold it? I'll be the holder. You can put it on the ground, you know. Oh yeah, it does have a bottom track. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. just gently. <laughs> I'm just so nervous with glass. Oh gosh. There we go. <laughs> Eric, he's so much help. Let's see, make sure yeah. butterscotch <laughs> is still over here. She's doing I absolutely fine right now. Catch. She's just hanging out right here. She's good. Yeah, she is so beautiful, isn't she? And then the last thing we have to do is we have to actually kind of get in the cage over here, clean that glass. Because, you know, we want things to look really good and really neat here. But uh, butterscotch is doing really well for us right now, so we don't have too much of a problem. Looks like Mary and Eric are making a good team. And what's the crazy thing is we do this almost every day and we've never broken any glass, which is wild. So. Should I pull that one or just get in no, there and wipe get, it? Yeah, just right yeah. Get behind that now. A good snake. <laughs> what's up? Oh! <laughs> Look at the glass, not the snake. Okay, okay. I got the snake. Not really. I'll be honest with you, I can't even see her from where I'm standing. Okay. That's a heck of a job. Job it there. Great. It looks fantastic. Good job! Alright. Okay. So all you gotta do is put that glass in without breaking it. God, please just. Oh, is, it is it in? Is it in? It's right. in. Hey, on yep. a scale of 1 to 10, it's maybe like a 7 ish. We're gonna make it a 10, because we don't, we can't settle for any less. No, all right, all right, so again, just the last couple things, and then we can get ready for the Reptarium. Hey Andrea, predictions for the night, you think it's gonna be good? I think we're gonna be busy. We're gonna be busy, you know yeah. why we're gonna be busy? It's St. Patty's Day. No, because I have some new shoes. Oh, look at that. Is that the trick? That's right, new shoes equals busy. All right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna do this. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? Come on in. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to see you, man. Hi, how are you? Hi, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Come on in, come on in. 
Probably. Of course, we have Sunrise out. Let's see what else is going on in here in the Rectarium. Like I said, just opened a few minutes ago and already really going well. Hi, fun right. Hey, how are you? Hi. <laughs> good. I swear, that one's a lot smaller. How's it going Thank back here, Eric? Good, good. We have a little fan up here. That's this about is, it. This is like the hottest spot in the so entire bad. building. I'm on How do you like it? I love it. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She's so much prettier in person. I know she's a beauty. So you guys have fun. Woo! Make sure Eric. Make sure Eric takes care of you guys. Of course, my girl Bella getting all the attention. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to see anything, anything I can do for you guys, okay? We're about halfway done with the night and I just came out here to take a little bit of a break. It's pretty hot in there. You get a lot of people in there and it's a little sweaty. I don't sweat much, so when I start sweating, you know it's really warm. Just like I suspected, definitely a really busy night. I think my shoes were definitely the thing. <laughs> I don't really know, but the truth is it's been amazing. This last few days has actually been incredible at the Reptarium, so we're having a great time. Just taking a quick break out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Although it's a little chilly, spring is definitely in the air. This is absolutely my favorite time of the year because even when it's cool, I know that warm weather is coming, summer's coming, long days, I love it. In Michigan, it literally is like still sunlight at like 10 o'clock at night in the middle of June, so it's coming, guys, and that's when I love life, so all right, I'm gonna get back in here. While Brian's over at the Reptarium, I'm here at BHB trying to figure out my game plan for breeding the colubrids this year. That can be such a big job, just trying to see, I make a list of all the animals we have, male and female, and then try to figure out what I'm gonna breed together because we want to produce cool things. So I know I've got this guy here. He's beautiful. So this is a male to Sarah that is het for scaleless. I have a couple cool things to pair with him, but the cool thing with this is it's a co-dominant trait. So I can breed him to anything and get to Sarah's. So now I got to decide what do I want to breed him to. So I'm really excited about this. I actually have a couple snow scaleless that I have a lot of possible het snow females that these guys definitely will help proving out if they're het for snow or scaleless. So I'm really happy to add these to our collection. So here's another exciting one. I've got a motley scaleless corn snake that this is a beautiful male that I can throw to a lot of females. Hotly has always been one of my favorite jeans. Uh, it comes in a variety of colors, so I've got big plans for him. This one is near and dear to my heart because I actually found these for the first time at a show years ago and purchased them myself. So these high white albino cow kings are just gorgeous. So I'm really excited to be breeding those today. So we really have a really nice salmon snow line. These are a polygenic trait so we can breed the best pink to the best pink and really produce some stunners. Here's another one I'm excited about. Everyone loves milk snakes. These are so pretty. This is a real nice albino tangerine hondurin that I'm super excited to be breeding. She should have some really pretty babies. All right, so it was pretty busy in here earlier and uh, poor Eric was actually stuck in this corner. You guys know that Bruce is always here doing all the tarantula stuff. I don't mind coming back here because I love it, but apparently Eric couldn't find anyone. And oh my God, it was terrifying. Can you help me? Can you help me? Can you? And then I couldn't find you, so I'm like, yeah, I'll show you guys the tarantula. <laughs> Customers first. And, and everyone knows that Eric is terrified of these guys. So you literally took one out. Dude, I was, the funny part is, I know I sound stupid, but I don't know a lot of these tarantulas. So I, I know this guy's dangerous, but I was like, hopefully this is the rose hair. Oh my gosh. Let me get it so out So you here. didn't even know which I one you I didn't even thinking. know. I oh told him, God. I said, if I pass out, you call the cops and get oh him here God. right away. But we got it out. It went really good. It went really, really well, actually. All right. And so is, is your fear a little bit less? It's a little bit less now. But you know, it was a rose hair. It was slow moving. It was a big teddy bear. But all right. <laughs> oh my God! Please come back, Bruce. Jeez. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you, dude. I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> This girl's first breeding season, it's a pink-eyed leucistic Texas rat. So you don't see those very often. A lot of times you'll see them with the black eyes, but not too many with the pink eyes. So I'm really excited to breed her too. I love the fact that now we're offering feedings at the Reptarium. We only do one feeding a night to Bella. Sometimes we do bananas, sometimes we do other things, but tonight it's a banana. So my man here is gonna do it. All right, hang on. She's gonna try to steal the whole thing. Don't let her. There it is. Yep, and just let her take little bites like that. There you go, Bells. Good job. Oh, you're feeding good. 
Oh my gosh, Belly, you're so awesome. Look at her. Yeah, because even she has a team of her Good job, Bella. Yeah. Perfect. Yep, there it is. What do you think? <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's awesome. She is so cool, right? Can I shout out my Instagram? Yep, shout out. Um, You'll see my dogs in my leopard gecko. It's Roscoe, and Sophie, and Aspen. And there goes Bella, taking the last bites. Munchy, munchy. Lori's getting her work wrapped up here with the Colubrids. I'm about to wrap up over at the shop tomorrow. We have Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons in. The next day, we actually had to go pick up that really cool animal for the reptile zoo. We are super excited. It's gonna be a really busy couple days, but it's gonna be absolutely awesome. And with all that said, we are about to shut down here at the Reptarium. It's been an amazing day, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know this vlog was a little bit wild. I don't know if there's even a storyline here. I was just kind of filming whatever happened throughout the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day because your support means the world to me and I truly really love you guys so much do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video can you make a comment down below I know I say it every single time but I really do love reading your comments so if you can comment I would appreciate it make sure to be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow